so welcome uh, today we are going to see about how to work on the intel server so first we have to download the um, mobex so after downloading mobex we had to install then we had to work in the intel server so first uh, we had to download mobex mobex terms we had to search in google so here you have to download uh, the free version of mobex terms so download now after downloading, you can see this. They have two options. One is portable editions, and one is an install installer editions. So you have to go for installer editions. So you can download. So already I have downloaded that in a Mobex. So I'm going to install. After installations, we have to follow the steps. So after installations, you can see here the Mobex um, icon. So here we have to go for sessions. The from the sessions, we have to go for SSH. So after clicking in the HSH, you have to give the IP address of our server. So 192.168.3.2200. Then you have to give us OK. After giving us OK, it will look like this. Then you have to give the login where what you are given by the faculty. So I'm giving us test one. So we have to give the login as test one and password as test one. Then we have to save the, uh, you can save the password. Otherwise, we will go for no. After uh, enter into that login, you can see this source space slash APS slash Intel slash one API slash ST set server dot HS. So you have to see here how the content are displayed. Then <coughs> So after giving that, we can see that uh, Jupyter. So you can see here down with so Jupyter notebook, Jupyter notebook uh, space hyphen hyphen IP equal to IP address 0 0.0.0. .0. .0. This is a local server, so I am giving like this. So hyphen hyphen port 8888. So we had to give like this. After giving this, it will, it will be look like this. So we had to select the I address. Then you have to copy. Uh, if you select the address, automatically it will be copied. Then you have to enter in, into the web browser like a Chrome. So if, if I'm using as Chrome, I have to give as Chrome. Then you have to paste that IP address here. So you can we have to edit that IP address what we are given in uh, 192 point 192 point 168 point 3 point 200. So after giving us enter, it will be loaded to your uh, uh, server, Intel server, which is available. So you can see the uh, data, what you are, you are already done in the Intel's, Intel server. So next, I am going to do the, some uh, some one project, like uh, just printing a hello world. So notebook, clicking the notebook, it will be displayed like this. Then you can see the, uh, it will ask which uh, kernel we have to use you can use there are so many kernels so i'm going to use kernel uh, python 3 then i'm going to type uh, my programming uh, print uh, hello world hello world you can see the uh, it will be displayed yes so we have to do it like this so if you having more number of uh, codings we can do uh, in the in the jupyter itself okay thank you